This is an HR unit. HR means heat recovery. This device can provide heating and cooling simultaneously by utilizing heat waste. The HR unit is installed indoors and between the ODU and the IDU. Once the HR unit gets the signal from the outdoor unit, it starts communicating with indoor units and then performs pipe detection. Errors CH200 and 204 can occur at any of these stops. While CH200 is a piping detection error, CH204 refers to a communication error between the HR unit and the ODU. As represented by the blocks in the image, error CH200 occurs when after auto piping. The number of the indoor units detected is different from the number of communicating indoor units. This miscount occurs mainly when the dip switch setting has been wrongly done. Another reason for this to happen is failure in the HR unit's communication cable and power cable, or a malfunction in the HR unit's PCB. On the other hand, error CH204 occurs when there is a communication error between HR unit and ODU. The causes for error CH204 include failure in the HR unit's communication cable and power cable, or a malfunction in the HR unit's PCB. To solve this error, start by measuring the voltage of the communication terminals A and B of the HR unit. These terminals connect the HR unit with the outdoor unit. The normal range should be between 1 and 5 volts. For the power terminal, 220 volts is considered to be normal. Then disassemble the control box cover of the outdoor unit. You can check the error number on the ODU's PCB. If it is error CH200, the number 200 will be displayed in the PCB screen. You can also check if it is error CH204 by taking a look to the screen of the ODU's PCB. Remember, this is a communication error between the ODU and the HR unit. As shown in the picture, you can also check the error at the HR unit's 7-segment display. Inspect the HR unit. The structure of the HR unit's PCB is shown. First, check the dip switch in the PCB. As shown in the picture, the number of indoor units can be set by using HR unit's SW02M dip switch switch number 2 and 3. On the other hand, for 8 branches HR units, the setting for the indoor units can be done by modifying the master main PCB's dip switch, number 2, 3, and 4. A picture of an 8 branches HR units PCB is shown. The dip switch has to be set according to the number of indoor units and branches connected. For example, when a four-connection model is connected to three connections, switch number two should be on, and switch number three should be off, as shown in the picture. Unlike two, three, and four-connection models, in the case of six and eight-connection models, switches number two, three, and four are used. According to the number of connected units, you can adjust the dip switch referring to this picture. Since an error will occur if this setting is not properly done, make sure you adjust the dip switch accordingly. Now, remove the front panel on the outdoor unit. After adjusting the HR unit dip switch, according to the IDU number, you will need to perform auto pipe detection. To do this, turn on the dip switch, and after selecting the indoor unit number, select ID5. If the ambient temperature is below 15 degrees, ATH will show up. Finally, after setting ID6 and waiting for a while, 88 will show up in the screen and the piping navigation will begin. 
After the dip switch is properly set and the pipe detection appropriately done, error 200 will disappear. This video was made for educational purposes. It is intended for system air conditioning engineering only. LG Electronics does not take responsibility for any problem or danger caused by general users.